Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. And if you don't want to miss any informative videos in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification, when we post new video on the channel. This video is on, Submersible Pressure Transmitter. In this video, you will learn What is Submersible Pressure Transmitter? And what is Working Principle of Submersible Pressure Transmitter? And lastly, where can we use Submersible Pressure Transmitter? First of all, let's start with, what is Submersible Pressure Transmitter? The submersible pressure transmitter is the device which senses the hydrostatic pressure at the bottom of liquid tank. In other words, it works on hydrostatic pressure measurement principle. And it designed for continuous level measurement and transmits a current signal proportional to the water column to the upstream instrumentation. As you can see, the sensor part of the pressure transmitter can be directly placed into the liquid tank and the transmitter can be installed at a safe working place. Submersible pressure transmitter comes with a special vented cable to equalize atmospheric pressure changes. So, accurately transmits the measured liquid level to transmitter. Water level signal can be sent to the outside through a standard current signal of 4 to 20 mA after temperature compensation and linearity correction. Submersible pressure transmitter is also known as static pressure level transmitter, submersible level sensor, submersible water level meter, etc. Now, let's learn, what is the working principle of the submersible pressure transmitter? The submersible pressure transmitter works on the principle that, the static pressure on the sensor is proportional to the height of the liquid. For example, when the liquid level sensor is placed at a certain depth in the liquid level to be measured, the pressure is applied on the front face of the sensor. As you can see in this equation, rho is the density of the measured liquid. G is the acceleration of gravity. H is the depth of the transmitter in the liquid. And P0 is the atmospheric pressure on the surface of the liquid. Here, the pressure of the liquid is introduced into the positive pressure cavity of the sensor through the gas conductive stainless steel. And the atmospheric pressure P0 on the surface of the liquid is connected to the negative pressure cavity of the sensor to compensate the P0 at the back of the sensor. After compensation, pressure measured by submersible sensor is rho. G. H. Lastly, where can we use submersible pressure transmitter? Submersible sensor can be used when it is not possible to place the level sensor by the side of the tank or container. For example, submersible sensors are most commonly used in wells for level measurement purpose. Well, in this last slide of the video, I will be sharing some very informative links for those who are aspiring and want to excel in the instrumentation field. I would like to share links for useful calibration videos and books related to instrumentation and flowmeter. And I have also shared link to buy or rent some devices for calibration. If you like the devices, you can buy the devices by using those links. 